Hello there everybody, it's Shrouded Hand here, and I like to do a video like this every now and then, just take a look at some of the strange news stories that have appeared in the tabloid press recently. So yeah, it's just whatever weird stories have taken my interest recently, I've saved them away for a video like this, and we're going to take a look at some of the things. So, starting off with the Metro, tropical bird turns out to be a seagull, somebody died electric blue. Okay, that that's the story, someone died a seagull blue. The bird was found wandering in a car park in Carlisle by shocked onlookers who alerted the RSPCA. Welfare officers soon confirmed the bird was not tropical and was just a regular seagull that seemed to have been dyed electric blue, and it certainly is, it's very blue. We still don't know what the substance is, but we are concerned that it is affecting him as he is a little dazed and is unable to fly at the moment. Ah, oh, poor bird. Nice start to the stories, I suppose, um, a, blue, a blue bird. Who knows? Who knows what that's all about? All right, so we're under the sun and we've got some spooky goings on here. Woman shares terrifying video of seemingly haunted doll moving by itself, and she's vowed never to enter the house again. Oh my, oh my god. god. Oh nice. my god, oh my god. Oh my Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. That is creepy. I don't know what's key causing that. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holly Armstrong shared the creepy footage on her TikTok account. That is actually kind of chilling, I've got to admit. I, I don't know if it's paranormal, but I, I don't know what I'd think if I saw that. If I looked into a cupboard and saw a doll clicking its feet together like that, I would probably run out of the house as well. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's that bit. It's the bit where it lifts its leg up at the end. Oh my god! Oh my god! Because oh I god. thought that could just be the draft if I'm if I'm, oh but it's it's when it's lifted oh its leg god. up at the end oh of your watch. Oh my god! I mean, I don't know. It could be a creature behind there. It could be someone playing a prank. Who knows? You've got to take TikTok videos with a big pinch of salt. But I got to admit, it's creepy. Whatever oh is god. happening here, oh my god! Oh my god! It's definitely oh my... giving me a little chill. That would spook me out. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my. God. Oh my... Yep, yep, yep. That one's creepy. Good work. Thank, thanks to the sun. I'm, I'm usually a bit like, uh, that's nothing, but yeah, that one's quite good. Thank you. We've got another one from the sun. Teen shares terrifying footage of a ghostly face peering out of haunted house window, but it's not all that it seems. I think it's here. That is super creepy. Although I have read the article, so... In a follow-up video, Rebecca returned to the house where she discovered the true nature of the eerie video. I really hope no one did call the police, but because you can see it's a mannequin head. It's still creepy, like I say, it doesn't have to be paranormal to be creepy. It could be completely innocent, but it still gives you the chills. So far the sun is delivering on its spooky promises. Here's the third one, and I don't know what to make of this one, because it's just a still photograph. A ghostly figure of woman spotted on a building site CCTV. So apparently they've got cameras set up on their building sites, and whenever it detects motion, it's it's get like a trail cam, I suppose. It takes a photograph, so there's no video. It's just a still image. And what they caught on the camera was this mysterious image eerie figure which looks like such a sort of stereotypical ghost image what the only thing i'm thinking of is it a lass just walking home from a night out she's been out she's got her dress on she's had a nice night out and she's walking home she's got a kebab in her hands there and she's just decided to take a shortcut over a over a building site that could be possible but it's it's an eerie image so apparently the security guard who was on the scene. They went out straight away. It was within minutes, but there was no sign of anybody there or of anybody ever being there. It was really bizarre. It's kind of strange just because it's a building site and why, why is she doing there? And Possibly an innocent explanation, but still creepy, creepy. Some of these stories, the headlines are more exciting than the actual when you read into it. So machete-wielding North Carolina man leaves bloody satanic messages on sorority house, police say. This is not Fox News, by the way. A man wielding a machete le left satanic messages written in blood on a sorority house. Um, apparently this man was wandering around in a very sort of distressed state. He appeared to have cut himself 
and was using his own blood to smear messages on vehicles and onto the sorority house. Um, I don't know what he wrote, it doesn't say exactly what, but apparently they were satanic in nature. So it is creepy, but I don't know if anyone was in danger. It appears to be a a homeless man who was, I guess, maybe was drugged up or he's got mental health problems and he was just wandering around daubing satanic messages in his own blood. So I'm just scrubbing through this video to see if there was any footage of the actual messages he wrote. It doesn't seem to be. It it shows a picture of the building, nice white building. That would be a good little canvas for some satanic messages written in blood. But unfortunately, we don't get to see what he's actually written, which I would be interested in. Who knows, I mean, it might not even be satanic when you get down to it, but it's kind of interesting, I suppose. I wonder what he was writing. Okay, we'll go on to the next story, and this is another one from Fox News, but um, a herd of charging cows in England kill second man in a month. Yeah, there's been two just random cow attacks in England recently, and they're all sort of in the same area. Thurwell Castle, I can get that up on a map. This attack happened over here, and then there was another attack just a couple of weeks before this one. This um, a teacher, a deputy head teacher actually of a school in Richmond, was out walking and he was killed by cows as well. This is such a strange thing because Richmond in North Yorkshire. Let's have a look at where that is. First cow attack happened here, and it's all around the North Pennines. The other one happened sort of down this end of it. I mean, I live over this way. I'm getting a bit scared. What are the cows up to? They're rising up. Another thing is, this may have happened in a space of two weeks, so yeah, two cow deaths. But did you know there was another one earlier on in the year, 31st of May? A man, 82, dies after being attacked by cows whilst walking with his wife. How horrible. I mean, all these attacks are horrible. Now, this one happened in Ives Car, North Yorkshire. Are we creating a Bermuda Triangle of... uh, of mad cows here. Are we going to see a pattern? I don't know. Is it strange? Cows are officially the most deadly large animals in Britain. This is from like back in 2015. So obviously cows must kill a number of people each year. What's going on in this area? What I'm going to call the the mad cow Bermuda Triangle of Britain. Cows are rising up. You heard it here first. On with the stories. We're going to look up this another ghost video. I mean ghost videos. They're ten a penny these days. I don't know if people are just bored because they're all locked in their houses and they're all overanalyzing their videos that they've captured and seeing ghosts. But this one's kind of interesting. I did have a look at it before. Homeowner was left terrified when she rewatched her security camera to find a ghost peeking around the barn outside the house at night. So let's take a look at this. The figure is just here. As you can see, it only appears right at the beginning of the video. To me, it just looks like it could be a figure. I mean, they're off in the distance. The camera quality is very, very low, and also they're just sort of going in and out of the lights by the looks of it. So it's picking them up and then they're disappearing into the darkness. Just looks like a person wandering around. Could be an intruder. It's still kind of creepy in that way, but why does everyone automatically assume it's a ghost? Could be literally anything in the world. Daily Star, we've got quite a number of ones from the Daily Star area actually because they always never fail to deliver on the, the most important stories. This is another one where the uh, the headlines are a lot more interesting than the actual story. Real life inception, a scientist figure out how to plant ideas in dreams. Now, what would you think reading that? Oh my god, they've invented some kind of machine that can affect your dreams. I'm testing a new technique called targeted dream incubation, TDI, which allows them to insert certain topics in to someone's brain. Past studies show that when a sleeper enters a rare dream state known as lucid dreaming, they gain awareness that they're dreaming. So this is how it actually works. The study involved 25 participants taking daytime naps. Before going to bed, they would record audio prompts in the app, such as remember to think of a tree and remember to observe your thoughts. They wore hand-mounted sleep trackers and when it detected they were in the hypnagogic state, the tracker would then coordinate with the app to wake the participants up with their own pre-recorded vocal prompts. This repeated several times and the sleeper would record it in a journal. And simply put, people would tell us whether the prompts appeared in their dreams and they found that 67% of participants mentioned dreaming about trees following the prompt. 
this to me doesn't sound like anything new whatsoever. I've sort of been interested in lucid dreaming for 15, 20 years, something like that. There was two techniques I remember quite well from lucid dreaming forums and websites. There was a method called wake back to bed, which sounds exactly like what they're doing here. They're kind of waking people up when they reach that hypnagogic state. I mean, to me, this just sounds like the wake back to bed technique and also using dream science or um, reality check type of uh, images. So I don't know why they're going on as if this is some new thing. A story that's more interesting from its headline than the actual facts of this thing. Daily Star, delivering the goods. Um, okay, here we go, another ghostly one. I'm gonna pause the video or it'll start paying the next one. Um, security worker terrified after hearing strange grunts at haunted car auction. The worker said he had a wave of goosebumps whilst recording the spooky sound from inside the bathroom. <laughs> Okay, I don't, I don't know what to make of that. It's 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 kind of spooky, I guess. Um, I did notice as I was watching it, there was a few dips in the audio. Like you can hear. So what I notice is, if you listen, don't listen so much to the breathing sound. Listen to the sound of like the hum in the background, which sounds like a air conditioning unit or something like that. Just a steady hum sound, and you'll notice that that breaks at about two points, as if the audio has been altered. See, like you heard it? Did you hear it there? See a little click? So the audio has been altered, but I don't know whether that's the original video. Oh, you heard it again there, see? See how the audio clips out? And I don't know if that's proof of anything, because who knows, maybe this is just the audio of the camera cutting out now and then. Um, as for the actual grunting sounds kind of creepy i've got to admit who knows what that is yeah that is a creepy noise it really reminds me of the um the film suspiria if you've seen that the original listen hear that whistle it's exactly the same As I went to use the bathroom, this spirit was talking or making grunts. To me, it sounds like they're saying, help me. It didn't sound like that to me, but... Okay, on to the next story. Yeah, this one, this one's weird. Brain wrapped in aluminium foil, or aluminium foil if you're American, washes up on Wisconsin beach. So apparently a guy called James Sender was walking on the beach and he found brain wrapped in foil and with it was pink flowers and foreign money. Some suspect the package may be part of a ritual for the dead, but no one can explain the brain. They don't know whether the brain was human or what, why it's wrapped up with money. You can see the money there and, and the flower. That is such a weird thing. Imagine opening up a package you find on the beach and <laughs> there's a brain inside it. I heard about this a week or two ago and I was hoping there'd be some kind of follow-up, but... I can't find any more info, so it's creepy and weird, but I don't know what's going on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this look at the weird news. I, do, I like to collect these stories and then put them together in a little chilled out video. Um, the last couple of weeks, there's been some like personal stuff going on in my life, so I found it hard to uh, get videos out on time. So every now and then I like to do one of these sort of chilled out, just look at some funny news stories. And um, I am working on the next proper video, so that'll be coming out soon. It's just I'm I'm taking I'm taking October as a kind of chill out month. I've paused my Patreon and I'm just sort of taking it easy, just so that I'm not getting too stressed out. As 
few things going on, like I say, personal things that are getting in the way. Let me know what you think of these stories. Some of them are a bit stupid, I know, but uh, I, I do like to look at what the tabloids are printing, and um, I don't think there's any other news really going on. I'll just take a quick look out my window. No, it all looks pretty normal to me, yeah. So anyway, that's the most important news of the last couple of weeks. I hope you were entertained by them. Thanks for watching, and until next time, goodbye.